Hi there, Scott Rockfile, back with another podcast review for you. Finally going to talk about Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. You haven't gone yet? I mean, why are you listening to this review? It's already been number one for a couple of weeks. It's made half a billion dollars in a couple of weeks. Do you need anything else to let you know people enjoyed this film? It's not just reviewing well or it's not, you know, it's doing well. Anyway, I'm a huge fan of Marvel. I'm a huge fan of Guardians of the Galaxy. It was a comic that I was familiar with before they made a a movie out of it. I thought when they announced it, really? You're going to, (laughs) that? It was weird. Um, But they did it. They let James Gunn do what he did. The first one. One of my favorite Marvel films, one of my favorite superhero films, one of my favorite 21st century films, period. The second one I liked, Kurt Russell, watch him in anything. I liked it a hair less than the first one, but to me it's part two. I I don't have to like it better or worse than the first one. It just is. So with great trepidation, I went to see the third one because I'm a huge fan of Rocket Raccoon. He's my favorite character. From the trailers, you could tell something bad's going to happen with Rocket there, and we're going to get his backstory I read. And, uh, the spoilers. And so I had to go see it opening day. That was a couple weeks ago, and I just I haven't been in the mindset to do podcasts. So the short version is, for some people, this is the best of the three of them. For me, I would still say the first one is probably my favorite, but this, all three of them. It's the best trilogy of the Marvel Universe. And I know people are going to say Captain America or even Thor, but no, I I, I think Guardians of the Galaxy has more heart with little cute furry animals than wiping out half the universe in Endgame. That, that, That was pretty epic, don't get me wrong, but movie made me tear up. That doesn't happen very much in modern life (laughs) and made me want to cheer at the end. That's what I go to the movies for, for things like that, for emotions that I don't expect, to be taken on a ride that I don't expect. And after seeing a couple Guardians of the Galaxy movies and all the Marvel movies, I thought I knew where this movie was going based on the trailer, and I should know better. I think they subverted expectations, gave us what we wanted, gave a fitting end to a trilogy. If we never see any more from these characters, I think we're all satisfied with how it ended. I think. I loved Rocket's part. I love the touchiness of it. It's not going to be one of those movies I pull out because I'm going to remember, or maybe I'm not. Because every time I rewatch the first one, I forget about the beginning where Peter Quill's mom dies. I forget about that whole scene, and that's rough. But the two hours that follow that scene make you forget. It's kind of like John Wick with the puppy. You don't think you can get through that scene, but then the rest of the movie makes you forget about that scene. You know. So anyway. Maybe Guardians of the Galaxy, because of the way the movie makes me feel, I'll get past the, but that was sad that that happened. Anyway, I did think we really, they were forcing in the storyline. The Adam character that they've been teasing since the the first one. Um, He just felt forced. And even James Gunn has come out and said that was the hardest thing to do was weave him in there. Well, it felt like it was weaved in there. I mean, they did give him some things to do, but they basically turned one of the most powerful characters of the Marvel Universe into the comic relief. They've done that before. It's not the first time they've done that. How about the Mandarin? You know, anyway. But I enjoyed his character. I thought it fit within the movie. He went on a journey. Most of our characters went on a journey. He was forced in, but it wasn't terrible. But just like I talked about Black Adam recently, there was almost too much in this movie. We could have taken at least one of those side plot lines. Just one. Shorten the movie just a hair. But again, if this is James Gunn's swan song with Marvel, if he's not going to work with Marvel again and he wanted to get everything he wanted to do out in this movie, I get it. But those are small complaints compared to what is one of my favorite movies of the year. I think Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. I have a senior neighbor. She called me at work when that movie was coming out and said, should I go see it? Do I need to see the first two was actually her question. And I said, yes, you do have to see the first two. I said, you won't. And she doesn't watch Marvel movies. So I'm like, you're not familiar with any of the viewers, but you at least have to watch one and two before you watch the third one. I let her borrow them. And she absolutely loved them. And she loved the third one. She came home and said, you know, I cried, but I loved it. I absolutely loved it. She loved all three of them. It's been one of my favorite things over the last few years is introducing people who are not into comic book movies or not into science fiction or fantasy movies and and turn them on to Marvel in the beginning and let that that passion grow in them because it's good storytelling to weave this mythology. We've talked about this before. You may not like every movie. They may not all hit you well, but they've weaved this grand tapestry of a story. And if you watch them all, even the ones you don't like have a place and taught you something and 
took you somewhere and something that gets referenced again later. I I don't need depth in all my movies. Not every movie has to be a mythology or a trilogy or whatever. I mean, John Wick's great at the four. They could probably stop and I'd be happy, but we're getting some spinoffs. Okay. Um, and I'm fine with just the one-off movies. Like last year's Everything Everywhere All at Once. They just came out today and said, no sequel. That was it. That was the movie. Well, yeah, that movie doesn't need anything else. It said everything it needed to say and the ending left you with, yeah, yeah, everything's going to be okay after. That's all I need. You know, I don't need a, yeah, but anyway. If you are going to play in a giant mythology, then make it as great as this. This proves that Marvel movies are not done, that they can still do creative things, take chances, and, and, and make a great film that affects us emotionally as much as like Endgame did. Review said this was the best end end game. Yeah, I, I can't disagree. Um, I really liked it. But I've always looked at the Guardians of the Galaxy movies outside of the Marvel Universe. Sure, they're Marvel characters. They take place in the MCU. But they're James Gunn's little private project. And these three movies are unique and different. And the character's unique. And anyway, proud to have a Rocket Raccoon keychain hanging in my car that I've had for years. Thank you. But anyway. I really enjoyed Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. See it in the theater. This is one of those movies like Indiana Jones or whatever else that you went and you clap and you cheer and you see it on the big screen and it blows your mind. There's not enough of those these days. And this just proves that there are still good movies out there worth going to see on the big screen. Don't wait till it comes home. Go see it. It's made over half a billion dollars. It'll make some more. Maybe you're into Fast and the Furious. I get that. I'll probably go see it this week for my birthday because I go see a movie and see either that or Super Mario Brothers. I've seen everything else. Anyway, my choices. I want to see uh, Zisu. Why is that not playing down here? Anyway, I'll stream it at some point. Uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3, pretty much my highest recommendation of the year. Go see it immediately. Go see it in the theater. Support it. Enjoy it and have fun. I'm Scott Hamilton. I'm Rockfile. I'll do a probably a spoiler cast at some point. But sorry it took me a couple weeks to get this podcast out. Thank you for listening.